Hey, hi everybody, Dan John here from danjohnuniversity.com. It's a question that seems to come up a lot, and it's it's always equipment based, but uh, you know, uh, the, it's been a fun conversation over on the forum. It's a very simple question. Uh, I believe in push, pull, hinge, squat, loaded carry. Somebody asks, you know, if you only had one piece of equipment, what would you, you know, what would you do the rest of your life? Well. It, if I have the kettlebell, you know, it's it's pretty simple. I mean, the, the push will always be the overhead push. Now, if I have two kettlebells, it's going to be either the double press or the seesaw press. Or, and to be honest with you, just doing the single press is great. In fact, if you, for the rest of your life, could only do one upper body exercise... I would probably vote on the half kneeling, one arm press. It's the pole that gets us into trouble on this question. I have T-Rexes here, I've got barbells here. My favorite thing for pulling is simply the hang. And all you do when you hang is hang. Now, this is mostly for my North American friends, but most of the people I work with have pretty broken shoulders. It could be because in North America, most of our games are throwing sports. And it could be the fact that for years, we used the push-up as the answer to all questions. So overhead press, hang. For the hinge, if all you've got is one kettlebell, then that would be a correctly done swing. And if you can't do it correctly, Pick the weight up, holding the curl grip, stick it right into your belly, the bell into your belly, and do Bulgarian goat back swings. For the squat, well, come on now. I would do, for the rest of my life, the goblet squat. I also like, of course, the overhead squat. And I've shown this video before. But as those of you who've been watching know, my favorite way to teach the goblet squat, uh, pardon me, the overhead squat is squat down, grab a stick, stand up, squat down, grab the bell, stand up. I overhead squat three days a week and I still love it. I've been doing it for a long, long time. For loaded carries, if all you have is one kettlebell, my favorite is a suitcase carry. The one side of farmer walk, and if you have no room, just march in place. For cardiovascular work, when you do your, uh, your overhead presses, your hangs, your swings, your goggle squat, and your suitcase carry, go out the door and go for a walk. See you in half an hour, 45 minutes. Is it a perfect training program? No, but it's not bad. And not bad is still superior to 95% of the crap you see online. I'm Dan John from danjohnuniversity.com and thanks for paying attention.